Can we learn some more blueprints? All right. Nice. Oh, baller. That means we don't have to go back through this thing. Oh, hell. guys and gals it's story time with legend eternal and we are back playing animalic uh, welcome to welcome welcome to the stream i uh, hope y'all enjoyed a little bit of uh legendary christmas music um we are um we are playing animalica again and uh i remember to hit record this time so the stream replay will hopefully have a little better quality than the one that dropped this morning uh, speaking of which, all of you watching on YouTube, um, make sure you go follow on Twitch to catch this show live, because we have a lot of fun, a lot of chat, a lot of, a lot of laughter. Uh, we also have devs come in and out sometime, which is awesome. Um, Animal just had a patch drop this morning, or this afternoon, rather, um, and one yesterday, I believe. Added a couple of things. Added a new wild boar. Don't know if we'll see that or not. Uh, we are going to try. But uh, for right now, we have a plan. Um, <clears throat> I streamed this two nights ago, and for those of you that are, were around till the end of the stream, uh, yeah, we had a little crash. Uh, the game crashed on us. We lost a little bit of progress, but I did some work. I uh, made it up off camera because I didn't want you guys to have to rewatch that. And I did a little extra because I was on a roll. And so let's look at what we've got. Um, you see the barn, and it's still the barn. Uh, we added in a kitchen. The kitchen is where we can do a lot of cooking. Uh, the big deal with the kitchen is we can make this varnish, which I've made a little bit and we'll use it in, uh, in a few minutes. We added in, I think I already had this pathway here, and we had the blacksmith and stonemason you guys saw. But we also added the weaving, weaver, uh, weaving building, uh, the, uh, the cloth making place, um, and that will let us uh, obviously make cloth, rugs, rope, thread, all the good things we need for different stuff. So, um, and we went further than that. If you look, we've got some little brick paths leading to the back of that building. We had our uh, advanced workshop put in right here and that's good stuff we also added the tannery now this the model for this building is just phenomenal i love this i mean it's the detail is just beautiful on this on this building a little cow head above there uh got a little tanning rack out uh out front a little cot uh with some animal skins draped over it and the inside you know busted up campfire another cot uh, nice building. Uh, we'll probably end up putting a textile storage here and move all of our leather type stuff. The big deal about the leather maker or the tannery is that we can um, make upgraded armor and that's going to be a real big deal and we're going to do a little bit of that today. However, uh, we also added the carpentry, the woodworking, what is this called? The carpentry bench, uh, carpentry building. Another beautiful building. We didn't really need this building for anything in particular. Uh, however, I wanted it uh, because I just love the look of it. I mean, look, it's like animated and stuff. The logs roll here. They get cut by the saw and then just squirt out the end here. That's just awesome. And this thing was tricky to place where it didn't clip into any trees. I mean, we got a branch clipping a little bit, but you don't see that. Don't look at that. Uh, but the main thing is here, and we can make quite a bit of different furniture. And we'll do a little bit of that and decorate our house. Because um, this got some real cool stuff. And I think, I'm not sure if these cabinets can actually be used as um, as storage, but I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll play with them. I also got a wooden plant pot, which I'm not sure if that is actually usable yet. 
um, but it will be in the upcoming gardening update. Uh, we'll use some of our brick that we got in Kultzburg and um, and made made up some brick paths, and uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um, the one the one wish I have. Sorry, I'm having to answer a text over here. Uh, but the one wish I have for that is that I wish we had like a curve or even just a, a 90 degree and L shape because the only way to make a curve is to use this four way right now. And so you end up with, you know, kind of a uh, little like open ended pass right here, which, you know, and not a big deal. Uh, it's just uh, would be nice. Or even if it was not a straight L, but like a roundabout curve. But a way to go, way to make a, a way to make a turn in that path, uh, which uh, would really be nice. But uh, anyway, so if you saw the title of the stream or the video, if you're watching on YouTube, what we're going to do is we're going to raid that pyramid. And uh, if you watch the stream or the video from a few days ago, you saw that we went to the pyramids. We circled, we circled all around a couple of them and tried to find a way in. We're a little disappointed that we couldn't get inside. Uh, however, uh, one of the devs who um, I'm honored to have follow my content um, actually commented on that video and said that the other pyramid, the one I didn't check, has the opening. And he also warned me, go in there geared up because it's tough. Well, we'll take that warning seriously. So, what we're going to do, we're going to come over here and look and see. And I've got a few of these green shards. Let's just take those. Uh, shift click. There you go. We'll take those, and we're going to come over here on the blacksmith and see what we need to upgrade our crossbow. Let's just take a look here. Upgraded crossbow. Right now, we have a generic crossbow. Yes, we did all of that work in, uh, in Kultzberg uh, a couple of nights ago with the default crossbow. So we're going to start upgrading it. So what we need for that, we're going to have to use our crossbow, a green shard, and some titanium dust. And this is why, guys, that you have seen me get so excited when I find titanium dust. And so let's go over here. We got a heap of it, and we are finding it much, much better than we did in the previous playthrough. And I'm not sure if it's because that it's more abundant or if it's because I just know better what to look for. So anyway, so let's take, we got a crossbow right here. We got the green shard. We have the titanium dust and boom, let's upgrade the crossbow. There it goes. So we're at a plus one. Boom. I forgot to check what the damage was before we upgraded it. I think it was 25. I think it just adds one up, one, one damage point, which, you know, one damage point right now is not a big deal, but you tack a few of them on and you get uh, a pretty epic weapon. Uh, so next, uh, we're going to look, let's see how far we can go with this thing. Because really the upgrades, I think, what do we need for the pig? Green shard? Well, you know, yes, I would like to gray, upgrade the pickaxe. However, the crossbow is much, much more important. Um, so yes, yes, every time we upgrade it, we get one damage point. Hey, Christy, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so let's go ahead and upgrade it again. And boom, a plus two crossbow. However, we still have a green shard. So let's do it one more time. Uh, why is that red? I've got a plus two crossbow. Upgrade. Boom, okay, now that's all of our green shards, but we now have a plus three crossbow. That is gonna help out a lot. However, you know, we not only wanna hit hard, we want to be protected too. So what we're going to come over here and look at, <clears throat> excuse me, in the tannery is what we need to start upgrading our uh, armor. So let's see, we got a tank top right here. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, we go from, from a regular tank top to a reinforced tank top. We got the tank top, we'll have to take it off. 
Uh, and we'll need crafted leather and leather straps. Now, I made some crafted leather when I was playing with the varnish and the uh, crafting bench a um, couple of nights ago off camera. So let's run over here. Did the model of that change? Oh, maybe not. So we got a little bit of crafted leather. Uh, yes, right here. So let's go ahead and grab our leather and uh, hide that we've got because we may start be needing that. And I cannot remember leather straps. We also needed some of those. So let's roll back over here and see what we can do. Not that building, not that building. This one right over here. So uh, we have got, let's take what we got to take the clothes off. Take our tank top. Good, good, good. Right now, it has a defense of two. We're going to make it a defense of five, so that's going to be a big upgrade there. We need leather straps. We don't, We need more than the ones we have. Animal hide. We have plenty of animal hide. Let's craft four of those. Beautiful. Okay, so now... We go back up here, we can make the reinforced tank top. Get crafted, and voila, we are at defense five. But let's see if we can go even further. We need hard skin, monster scales. That's what we need those monster scales for. Now we can um, we can farm those over in the desert. Uh, we left that spawn point active. So uh, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing, because we know where to get those. We can go get as many monster scales as we want. It'll just take some time. So let's go ahead and uh, and look at what we can do with our pants here. So for reinforced pants, yes, we've already got the things. We're going to go from a defense of four to a defense of eight. Excellent. So let's go ahead and upgrade them. And boom, we have better pants. And now to go to hardened, we also need the hard skin and the scales. Now we do have some hard skin over over in the workbench uh, we'll need to farm a few monsters to get some more so let's look at what we need for the boots we're going to need leather boots which we've got a pair on we need some eight leather straps we're going to need to craft one more set of straps crafted leather we're going to need a little bit more crafted leather and steel ingots which we can go get and that'll take our boots let's take let's let's run get the things We'll need a couple of those steel ingots. We've got several in the metal storage. Yes, 18. Nice. So let's see how much, uh, how many monster scales and I think I was storing them in here. Uh, clearly not, but we got 11 hard skin. Where did I do with the monster scales? Did I put them in here? Uh, look at yeah 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 right there okay i was looking for a scale that looked like a horn it confused me but we're good now so let's go back over here and see what we can get done ah we can make the hardened tank top we got the stuff to make it hardened nice let's go ahead and do that then okay so we have the top tier tank top Top tier tank top. <laughs> Can you say that three times fast? Uh, but we were going to look at the boots. Uh, let's take our boots off. Drop them right there. And what do we need for the reinforce? We need some more leather straps. Get crafted. Now we need crafted leather, which we can make. Excellent. So there we go. So now we should be able. What? Well, no, don't take. Should be able to make it. Yes, we can. Okay, nice. So we have a 24 defense now, and I don't know what it was before. I think it was somewhere in the 10 area. Let's see. What do we need for hardened? More monster scales. We don't have enough monster scales to take. The, you know, we've actually got enough hard skin, I think, to do both. 
we just don't have the um, uh, we're short one hard skin but we don't have the monster scales to do either the pants or the boots we'll get some monster scales when we're in the desert uh, possibly so let's go ahead and put all these clothes back on there defense is looking good defense of 24 excellent we're about to thirst let's get thirst drink up and eat a little bit there we are all right so we're gonna drop the things off get in there and like I said I'm gonna move this type of thing we'll go ahead and put the uh, varnish in there even though it's not a textile it's kind of where we use it and we'll put the monster scales in there too since we know what we use them for now throw the fat in there the cloth uh, we're good we have over 400 arrows so hopefully that'll take down quite a few mummies so let's drop our sticks off in the wood storage Find the hitbox, there it goes. Metal off in the metal storage. And there we go. Let's get that uh, little bit of water crafted back up. Oh, sorry about the noise, guys. I have cannot silence my phone. I am on call tonight. excellent all right so we're 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 in much better shape we're a lot tougher than we were when we started this episode we have uh, three levels on our bow and we have quite a bit more defense going on so uh let's go to the desert take a ride up in our elevator And roll over here to the balloon. And we're going to head to the burning sands. Love it. I'm, I'm, I'm excited and scared at the same time. This this pyramid, I have seen, seen it once. A good friend of mine, Yanni, uh, B4U Gaming, check her out. Um, she did this on stream and... Uh, didn't get all the way through it, but when I saw what she was running into, I was like, wow. So, um, uh, we're going to try it now. We're going to see how we can do. Might be, be a big, huge fail, but it's going to be fun. So, so, here we are in the desert. And it's that pyramid off to the left is the one we're going to be heading to. be a little bit of a little bit of a jump probably could have taken the horse but I prefer to stay on foot myself uh, that way I can see something grab it without having to stop and jump off the horse so I believe if I remember right that it's that pyramid all the way on the left there so that's the one we're gonna go ahead to it was uh, apparently I was real close to the entrance of it when we were getting that camel um, in, in uh, I think it was two episodes ago, uh, but let's see where we got a watch. We do have a spawner somewhere in this area, and it looked like one up there on that hill to the right. Coins. More coins. Boy, this desert is good for metal and coins. I tend to find quite a few coins. I'm just running around here. But yeah, yeah, I can see the entrance from here. That's where we're going. Ah, oh, the wind howling. Oh, God. I, guys, I am nervous. I am really nervous about this. See if we can get any sticks from these bushes. Let's see, we have 40 fish and 40 meat. We should have plenty of food to keep ourselves healed up. Uh, 
hopefully. We're going to take this slow. We are going to leave the mummies on the ground, uh, just like we did when we were clearing out Kultzberg a couple of nights ago. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take us to go through this. It's possible that their bodies will despawn, allowing them to respawn behind us and get us trapped in there, which is, has a, is a very good possibility. However, um, we're we going to give it a shot. But before I do, I'm going to save the game and... Uh, uh, we'll put it right here in case everything goes awry and we just have to back back out and I uh, hate to do that <laughs> break the fourth wall and all uh, but we certainly don't want to lose all the materials is that a that's a different camel no I'm not stalling I promise I'm not gonna whack him with a thing yeah my other camel only had one hump this has two So yeah, get the trank arrows back. Can I get that last one? No, you're laying on it. A Bactrian camel. Yes, it is a different camel. Okay, cool. So we got a new animal. Awesome. And, uh, okay. Here we go, guys. Uh, everybody wish me luck. We're going in. Oh, wow, it's like super dark. Okay, it lightened up. I was going to say, I didn't remember the video being this dark. Now, that's not a good sign. Take it slow, guys. We're not going to rush it. Thank you, Christy. Oh, there they are. There are the mummies. Okay, how many errors they take? Uh, four. Was that four times I hit him? What do they drop? Gold coins and cloth. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep, four. So if we can stick back and four shot them, we can save ourselves from getting too much damage. Let's, did we find anything in this room? Anything here? Baskets. Oh, gold and bronze ore. Awesome. Could have sworn I saw a guy in here. Wasn't there three of them we saw walking? Yep, there he is. There it is. All right, grab some rope. Pickaxe, huh? Cool. More rope. I wonder what level that pickaxe is. Let's look real quick. Uh, standard pickaxe. Okay. Oh, it, it, it would be pretty cool if they left like a uh, like an upgraded one as part of the work. A reward for the work of clearing this thing because this is not. An easy place to clear. Rusty sword. Got him. Okay, that's the thing. Just don't panic. Slow and steady. Four shots, and they're down. That go. He got me. I missed one. Uh, we took a hit. That's all right. Low and steady wins the race, guys. Another one in here. Looks clear. A box. Yeah, it's sealed beyond my power. Well, I'm not worried about your power or the sealed box. Statues on either side. Can I get you? All right. Oh, okay, cool. We learned to make a statue. That is baller. Can I learn to make this one too? I want to. Can I take those? All right. Nice. That's neat. 
and that, that that's a, that's a pretty good uh pretty good reward okay i want to say we have to break this anybody behind me yep he's behind that wall Okay, we're going to take damage when this wall comes down. I know it, guys. Come on. Break. I'm assuming we're supposed to be hitting it. Are we supposed to press a secret button or something? I think it took this long to break this door. Are we doing something wrong? We're gonna whack on a little bit longer. We're gonna try something else. Huh. Secret button, maybe? I gotta turn something? You have a secret button, homie? Nope, not right there. Do you have a secret button? Do you know where the button is? No. Okay. Are we just supposed to yield it? Well, we'll try. Oh, hell. Oh, okay, KK. Oh, that's what it is. My pick was going through there and uh, getting stuck with the arrows. All right. <clears throat> Let's see a little bit. Okay, we're back full health. Let's see if we can draw these guys. Why did you get stuck there? All right, there's an arrow trap here. And there's mummies up there. So we're going to have to Leroy Jenkins through this room and hope we don't get close enough to draw those zombies. Okay, let's try to time this where we take as few arrows as possible. Okay, we got shot once, and it took 25 points. That's We've got to remember that on the way out. Let's see if we can... Find these guys. Uh, somehow we miraculously didn't take a hit there. Are there? That's awesome. Somebody else gonna come? Or is that all of them? Ooh, we need to eat. Okay, blue shard. Okay, I think that's all of them. Anything in any of these? Oh, hey. And this is the point that Yanni got to. So we're going to try... Is that my arrow? Yes, give me. We're going to have to try to get through here. Alright, we're going to have to not worry with arrows. We're just going to have to try to break through. Did 
We got plenty of arrows. Let's try to break through and get ready to switch to the meat. Okay, we got through. There's more up there. All right. <clears throat> Gold ingots? Yes, please. Anything over here we can take? A oh, red shard. Can you come through there? Are we going to have to walk across those spikes? I wonder if there's some kind of way to disable these traps. Like, is there some, like, button we can shoot or some torch we can turn? There, we got that one. Let's go get this blue one, because I'm going to hate myself if we leave it. So, we got a couple of shards, we got some gold, we got a couple of new blueprints, which is good. So let's see, how do we, can we break that? No. Got to be some way to lower those spikes. Can we trigger this? Can we swing him? Nope. Okay, there's got to be a way, because I'm thinking those spikes are probably going to kill me. Well, they can't come over me either, which is a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and clear the room. Any more that we can reach? Ooh, there's something cool looking over there. All right, guys. I don't know if these spikes are going to kill me. Just in case, I'm going to heal up to full and have my meat in hand. Oh, it took, a, took some damage, but we lived. Oh, ritual fire. Cool. All right. And we learned some more blueprints. All right. Nice. Oh, baller! That means we don't have to go back through this thing. Oh, hell! Okay, how do I get out? That sucked. Oh, wow. Dirty trick, devs. Come on. I'm sitting there jumping around celebrating being at the end, and you drop me in a stinking spike trap. Are you in the stream, Trap? Did you know about this? Yeah, of course you knew about that. I bet you built that. Ooh, sarcophagus. A falchion, nice. More gold ingots. Well, can I search those other ones? We're going to try. Okay, yeah. No, these aren't searchable. Okay, let's eat and douche back through. Okay, yeah, the thing is, just a sprint through there. You'll take about 20 points of damage or so, but uh, it's, it's fine. It's all good. And uh, we got the things out of there. Uh, we have blueprints, which I'm not sure what we do with that, but we have it. I'm hoping that means we can build that statue. We'll build us a little bit of... Uh, We'll build us some statues in our base 
that look cool just to show that we conquered the stupid pyramid and all the mummies are gone of course now we can come back and farm cloth and gold from them but we're not going to do that right now <laughs> because we got through here and statue of anubis and anubis and a couple of horse cast said welcome to streamcast uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm hoping that means we can build them. What, what does this say? Hand-drawn blueprint. I wonder how we use it. Uh, there's no use function. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're going to use this ritual fire, and we're going back home, guys. We have conquered the pyramid. Yes. That is awesome. Great job on that, guys. I'd love to see more of those type of dungeons um, in the game. And I think they have plans to to, to add several more of those. So that, that's awesome. Uh, I'm not aware of any others in the new areas. Now, there could be. Um, but I'm not aware of it. But, oh, we're back on. A uh, little lag. and back down let's done drop off this stuff and uh we'll see what else we're gonna get into tonight because uh we're only about 45 minutes into the stream we got plenty more time to do some stuff uh let's drop all of our metals off we got some ores we got some ingots some shards and scraps uh we're gonna throw no there goes in the tool thing All right. Drop our slate over here in stone storage. Uh, good. I'm sure we got some wood we can drop off. Yeah, we got a few sticks. Drop our textiles off. We got out of there with some rope. And we got some bones. Drop the shards. We'll put the blueprints in the valuables chest. We got a new weapon. Um, Falchion damage 17. Well, I've got this big honking sword. I found in the mines in a in a, a green green. Not Green Acres, is it Greenland? No, Green Hills, Green Isle, Green something. Um, and this is a down in the mine. You go across a bridge, uh, veer a little bit to your right, and you'll see a kind of a stone ruiny place. And there's kind of a pile of rocks over behind it. And if you go to that pile of rocks, and you'll see a ladder down into a mine. And this sword is down in the bottom of that. Now, melee in the game is not working as intended right now. Uh, you, the hits are not quite scoring like they should. Uh, but I still like carrying a big honking sword. But we're going to put this Falchion back in there. Put our camel up. Put the plants where they go. We're about to have to start a second plant container because we're getting a big old honking ton of them. And we'll have a spare pick we'll keep in there. Um, fill our water back up. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking one, one of the new, uh, new zones... Uh, <laughs> Cass is trying to figure out how to spell Chrissy's name. It's the second one, Cass. Um, <clears throat> but... Which one do y'all want to go to? We have two choices. Uh, we can go to Dorado, which is kind of a Western-style place, or we can go to Pestilentia, which is kind of a nasty place. Um, I haven't personally been to either zone, so we'll let you guys pick, uh, Christian Cass and anybody else in the stream. Do we want to go to Dorado or Pestilentia? Ye old West. Okay, Cass says we're going to El Dorado. 
So here we go. <coughs> Ooh, caught a dry hit there. Uh, juice it back up. Good, good, good. All right, now we're not going to use this sword. Nice looking. It looks similar to uh, what what is that other desert? Um, can't remember the name of it. But a little more uh, American West. The other one has more of a kind of a. <coughs> A European African feel to it there we go we got a are we got a golden mushroom now okay cool supply crate nice oh that's baller there we got a bunch of empty vials some water energy drink food antibiotics and a new type of knife tracker knife I haven't seen that one before uh, probably not gonna use it that much but we got it so let's see what we got. Uh, titanium rock. Yes, please. And more titanium dust. Love that titanium dust. And there's a stagecoach kind of sunk into the dirt. Let's see if there's anything over there. We'll take the aloe. Can we get any of this? No, none of that is takeable. Little graveyard up under the tree. That is a sick looking dog. We're gonna leave him be. We've got what we've got a greyhound. And longhorns. Definitely want some longhorns. got him so we have a Texas Longhorn speckled brown female I wonder if this is the male uh, looking at their uh, naughty place they both look like females but let's just check there we go and where's my fourth one? There it is. Got it. Yep, another female. All right, so we got two female longhorns. What do we got here? Napweed. Nice. Oh, another weenie dog. Gemma can have a friend. This is a boy. Awesome. Some horseshoes. Don't know what we're doing with that. Colorado, Indorado. Take the straw. And there's our uh, German Shepherd. Yeah. We'll take the hide. Arrows. Yes, please. <laughs> More straw. There's something. Shotgun shells. Don't believe I mind at all. We need a shotgun, but they cost a lot of money. Uh, oh, tumbleweed. Nice. Oh, you can push it around. Some glass. More glass. Timber? No. And marble. Yep, both females still. Ooh, horses. Indiana. Okay, we have Indiana and Colorado. Both American states. Uh, can we break into... Can we just push through? Let me in. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Oh. Steel. Paper. 
canned food, another stove. Oh, something was triggering on me. Okay, back door out. Some paint, nuts and bolts. How's our inventory? I'm starting to get kind of full already, but it's what usually happens when we. Oh, jeez. This is a nice find. That's a nice find. Take the alcohol. So let's go upstairs. More shotgun shells. We'll take the milk, cookies, milk and cookies. Santa must be coming. Eat open. Oh, cool. You can open the window. Baller, I love that. Take the paint. Antibiotics, lovely. Alcohol. What's back behind the door here? More alcohol. Can't take the hat. That's a cool hat. We'll open the window, get some air. And, okay, this is the way down. Okay, let's go over here and check out this way up. Looks like it only just leads to a little balcony. Can we open it? Okay, we can push on it. There we go. You know, those hinges need a little greasing. Push back through. Can we play the piano? No, we cannot. Chicken legs. All right, let's check the stairs up. That was the one we've already seen. Was there another stair up? No, so that's that building. Let's go check and see if uh, a Daddy Longhorn spawned. Nope, nope, bunch of mamas. Like the tumbleweed, that's awesome. Let's see, we saw some horses over here. Wonder what kind of horse they are. Probably Mustangs. Okay, we're gonna have to get a quick shot and chase them. Dad gummit. Got him. What kind of horse are you? Yes, Mustang, Dapple Great. Nice. And we are soon going to have to look into making some more Trank Arrows because I'm down to 20. Now, typically I get most, if not all of them. Wow. What the hell is that? Oh, that's some monster scale things, isn't it? That's a big honking crater. Can I have that metal? No, that's not metal. There's a shard down there, I think. Not 100% sure, but it sure does look like one. Okay, let's just skirt around it. We're not going to um, play with them right now. Uh, we'll check, see what else is in this zone. Oop, thought they were after me. Take the mushroom. And we'll go on. Okay, there's looks like maybe something that way. Definitely more longhorns, I think. Let's go ahead and drink a little water. I'm getting a little hot out here in the desert. Okay, are there any daddy longhorns here? No, there may not be any males in the game yet. Okay. There's some type of structure up this way. I wonder if this tree's takeable. Amarilla, can I take you? Can I chop you? No.
So yeah, there's some more horses, probably Mustangs again. We're going to leave them be. We're going to look and see what else is in this zone. Looks like maybe this is a good place for something. Other side of this hill. Arrows, yes. Thank you. I see. Looks like some dead trees over that way. Another batch of horses over there. Let's just check over this hill. Uh, another mushroom. Oh, what is that? It looks like a freaking bird or something. Oh, it's after me. Oh, three hits. Can I get the... Can I have my arrow? Thank you. Give me that one. Oh, the other one despawned. Hard skin, yes. Feathers. 20 feathers? Seriously? Oh, no more buying feathers. Uh, give me some more of those guys. Come on, dude. Oh, we got... Yeah, yeah, just one coming. Yeah, you get one at a time. I take these guys on all day. Arrow. Yes, got it. <clears throat> Hard skin and another 20 feathers. Heck yeah, all day long. Thank you, devs. We have a way to farm feathers. Uh oh, got two coming. What did I run into? Feathers, arrows, please. Got a couple of them back. Oh, got a little hurt. Not bad. Well, you can go back at it. <clears throat> Kill another couple, and oh, definitely, man. This is a way to go. Three shots and all the feathers you want. They're hard to get your arrows out of. You can't really see them. There it is. Got it. That's the only downside is you can't really get your arrows back out of them real easily. You kind of have to guess and feel for it. Okay, we're going to have to remember where that is. It's way over that way. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm not going to do that all night because I know you guys probably get bored of that pretty quick. So we're going to go explore a little more. How's our inventory? Uh, getting full, but we got a little bit of room. I'm not going to mine rocks and whatnot. Even though that does look like a titanium rock. We're doing okay on titanium for right now. I can get plenty of it off camera. All right. Um, let's just check through this pass. See what might be hiding on the other side. Turn back. It's too hot out there. We can't go that way. That's the map border. We'll keep going this way. Coins and metal. We'll take it. There's a spawn point with nothing around it. Uh, we need to drink a little bit of water. We're getting a little warm out here in the desert. Lots of feathers out here. Uh, nest with eggs. Uh, the eggs are a pretty good food source. You find a lot of them if you watch for fe for nest on the ground. Um, uh, I'll take some sticks. Sticks is the one thing that's been holding me up for making arrows. I mean, holy smoke. I just burned through them. Uh, Which right now we're on the plus side. We got more arrows than what we started with. Oh, there's a funky looking tree moving around and stuff. Does it spawn? Oh, it spawns the little red guys. I think we need to take at least one of those out. Turn red, turn red, turn red, turn red. Oh, he ducked.
Got it. That took way more arrows than it should have. I think I missed about 17 times, but we hit him at least five times. He gives us 20 coins, one bronze coin, and a green warrior badge. Okay, they're good for farming coins and for those badges, which you can turn in, I believe, for coins at the the Mad Trader in Cor uh, Colesburg. We found that last episode. Which, that's awesome they added him in. <clears throat> and he's just standing there holding a gun, which kind of scared me. Because uh, I thought it was a bad guy. But, uh... We snuck up to him and turns out... Nope. He... You can turn stuff in for... Wait, what is that? Not too hot out there. Can't go that way. That's the world border. This way. All right, well, let's keep going. Nice looking horses. I kind of like that one. That's kind of like a paint. Did we go get him? Yeah, why not? Got him. Mr. Arrows, ooh, we are, we lost all three of those Trink Arrows. Picked up the horse for it, picked up my Arrows. Total accident. Oh, we're about out of inventory room, but we'll slip around this way, see what else we run into. Now, it looks like the balloon is actually in the middle of the zone, in this zone, which is good. You can kind of see the balloon from everywhere. Are you all ladies? I hate to be looking at your stuff, but I'm trying to find a dude. Okay, none of those are dudes, or else they don't have the graphic changed. Got a little spawner over there, we're gonna leave it alone. Pop, pop, pop. Nothing over there. We're getting kind of into the mountainy part. Which is good. We'll be able to see quite a ways. That's the little building we raided when we first got here. Uh, nothing that direction. That's that crater with stuff in it. And this is the world border on this side. So that's about the whole zone. Uh, this zone is uh, s seems to be smaller than most of the other ones that they have. But, uh, but it's a good one. I like it. It's uh, very well put together. I love the whole Western theme the western building that they've got uh, with the saloon doors and uh, the all the decor is very fitting very well done uh, I love that you can it actually has uh, tumbleweeds that you can interact with which is cool so um, that's gonna about do it for this zone why don't we check somewhere else out and um, uh, tell you what, guys, uh, why don't y'all be thinking about while we head back home and, and unload stuff, where do you want to go next? We have several options. We can check out Pestilentia. And I'm not sure what all's there. We can go to Kitsune's Den because there's quite a few things that we need to farm from there. And also, and I can't remember 100% which zone it's in. I want to say it is the green uh, let, let's look at it. Green um, green something. Green Hills. I want to say Green Hills is where you've got the medieval castle type place which I, I do want to go there because I want to get the medieval book where we can start building the medieval keep and all of that stuff. So while we're headed back to do some little inventory cleanup, 
Uh, guys, think about where y'all want to go next. Let me know in the chat, and we'll we'll accommodate you. Boy, it looks a lot different in this little loading screen versus how it looks with all the buildings that I've built there. It's turning into a pretty busy place. All right, we're loaded in. So let's check back down the elevator. And start unloading. Did we have any rocks we needed to drop off? A few. Our rock storage is getting kind of full too, isn't it? Marble can go in there. And the sharp stone. Good, good. Let's drop the metal off. Scraps and the shards, titanium dust. Uh, we had a few steel ingots we found. And we're going to go ahead. Okay, no, no, no. This, this goes in the valuable slot. Uh, valuables chest. Good. Okay, let's drop the wood off. We got a handful of sticks there. And a little bit of timber. And a log. All right, textiles. We got some paper. Our textiles are filling up as well. But we're going to split that up between leather and cloth and have two different textile storages. Uh, I'll do that off camera. I don't want to have to do any more inventory management than I have to on camera with you guys because I know that's not exciting. I don't even like having to do this right here. I just want to make sure we get everything put up where it's supposed to go. And we're going to have to start taming, waking some of these animals up, putting them in their pens here soon. Drop you, drop you, drop you. Alrighty. Uh, plants. Uh, good. I think that is it. Okay, drinks, alcohol, of course, the milk. We're going to keep those bottles. Energy drink going there. Food. <clears throat> Cookies. Haha. <laughs> Rotten apples. Oh, we forgot a horse. Boy, <laughs> uh, family channel is for medicinal purposes only, Cass. Uh, that and the magic mushrooms. Uh, go. All right, tools will drop, the nuts and bolts will drop, portable stove and the dies. Um, Put the little knife there in the weapon slot. Get the glass and textiles. And more shotgun shells. We got 100 shotgun shells. Once we get enough money, which we almost got enough, we could probably farm a few coins and get there. But that may be something we do another night. For right now, let's go ahead and go home and sleep the night away. More arrows, thank you very much. We're at 470 arrows. We are rolling in arrows. And let's head to our bedroom and wait, let's see what time it is so we know how long to sleep. It's almost midnight, so let's sleep for seven hours. We'll get up at seven in the morning. We'll sleep in a little bit. <clears throat> awesome, it's turning daylight. We're a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. Alrighty. The guys, do you, uh, where are we going to head now? 
Got any ideas? What do we want to look at next? Well, y'all are telling me we'll fill up this water. Purified water max. Okay. All right. So back up to the balloon. And boom. Had my choice, let the lady decide. All right, Christy, what zone do you want to see? Christy may be neck deep in arc right now. <laughs> I haven't heard her say anything for a while. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> let's see. For the time being, unless she voices otherwise, Let's go to Green Hills, and we'll do a little bit there unless y'all decide you want to see something else. Oh, you're enjoying this? Okay, you're just quiet, Christy. <laughs> so there somewhere in this zone, and we'll have to find it, is a big castle, and it's full of bad guys. And uh, but that's no problem. We're getting pretty pretty good with that bow. But there is also in that castle, in somewhere in the courtyard. Um, I'll know it when I see it. I, I remember from the last playthrough we found it. There's the medieval craft book, which we can use to craft uh, the medieval workstation, which we can craft the keep. We can craft the big medieval storehouse. Uh, it opens up uh, quite a few buildings and some of the better looking buildings of this game. Now, I think, no, I thought I'd been here, but maybe not. Thought I came here off camera to loot this building. Which I could have, it might have respawned. Uh, no. Any of this pick upable? No. Plant in the house. Yes, I have been here because that's empty. That respawned. TP. That respawned. Okay, so st some stuff inside does respawn, just not in the containers. If I remember right, there's TP everywhere. If I remember right, there was some cement somewhere in this building. Oops. More TP. Holy smoke. Huh. Awesome. Look at that little double hop down. All right. So uh, first things first, I want to show you where that mine is and therefore where to find bunny. Maybe not find a bunny, but we're going to take the bunny. Take our trank arrow, and we have a bunny. Good. Rope. And that, my friends, is a titanium rock. Beautiful. So get our bow back out. And if you look, you know, you veer a little to the right, up on top of the hill, you see there's the little ruined stone building. Um, there's a couple of things in there, not much in there, but this pile of rocks here, there's your ladder down into the mine. So you just follow that ladder down in there. There's a couple of chests. Uh, one of them has uh, this sword in it, which is super cool. All right, so we're not going to go down there because there's nothing left in there because I got it off camera. Uh, but I wanted to show you where that was. So we're going to cut through this area. See what we can run into. See if we can see that um, that medieval place. Now, I don't want to fill up my inventory. Because if I remember from the last playthrough, there's quite a lot of stuff no. in that castle that we can 
loot and take back to our base. I don't want to be full of random plants when we get there. Unless we find some plants that we really, really need. And I'm hoping it's the right zone. I'm thinking it's the right zone. It has been a while, though. I'm getting low on the stem, drink a little water, refresh yourself. Catch a second wind, and we're off again. There's some... There's the wild boar. There is the new animal, guys. The new wild boar. I don't want to... I want to take him with me. Can I get my... I don't see my arrows. Give me... Oh, hell. Arrow, arrow. Give me... Alright, we got most of our arrows back. We got a male and a female. Nice. So we got one of each. Nice. The wild boars. They are in green hills uh, down in this valley around this little spawn point. That is awesome. I don't know if anybody's found these yet. Uh, not that I know of. Uh, so glad y'all got to see it on my channel first. Awesome. That was a new animal that was just added yesterday. That is exciting. We got... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's had a pretty good episode so far. Uh, we cleared out the pyramid, which is the first time uh, anybody I know has done it now that I'm aware of. And um, I know Yanni got almost to the end in her stream. I don't know if she ever made it to the end off camera or in a different stream. Um, but I'm, I don't know, Christy, are you aware if anybody's cleared the pyramid yet, got to the end like we did? I don't think so. Uh, I'm sure maybe somebody's done it. I don't like, like the first in the universe, but first I know of. First, first I know this posted footage of it. So that's cool. Um, there's a spawner over there. There's a water tower. It looks like a garden. Let's go over there and see what's in the garden. Er, okay, the closer we get, it's looking more like an orchard now. But that's cool, too. Uh, cows. I don't know what kind of cows those are. I think those might be Holsteins, but if so, we've got some. Nice little orchard. Can I take any of these trees? It doesn't appear that I can. Eggs. Lovely. <laughs> we'll raid the hen house here. We can't take the corn. Oh, sorry, dude. I just stole all your eggs. Um, we'll take the food. Thank you for having us for dinner. Raw meat. Roasted mushrooms, eggs, horseshoes. Lovely. Scavenger's axe. Don't think we need it, but we'll take it. Oh, fish. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, inventory is not so great after that. Uh, what we should have done uh, was was made a ritual fire. There was something else this way-ish. 
besides the horses. Yeah, there it is. We should have made a ritual fire. What the cool thing you can do with a ritual fire is you can carry it with you, uh, throw it down when you get your inventory full, zone back home, unload, and zone back in, and you come back in at the ritual fire. So it's kind of like a... Oh, another guy in his house. Oh, more fish. Crafted leather, lovely. Of course, I don't know. I think we might have used all the crafted leather we need to use. Um, we've upgraded. I think crafted leather is just used to get your armor to the second level, which we have all of ours to the second level. Dried fish. Oh, we can eat that just like the roasted fish. Same restore and everything. Nice. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, got plenty of cattails. We're not going to take that clay. We're going to take the clay. Usually where there's cattails, there's clay. That's why I kind of turned around. Yeah, clay is uh, good for roofing tiles and also some of the paths that, um, especially like the brick paths, they they take clay as well. So it's good to grab it. Right. What the? Uh, is there a demon cat spawner around here? Do we see any more? I didn't know there were any of those outside of Coltsburg. No, no, there was some yeah, outside of Coltsburg, because I saw some in Colts Har Col Corp Corpse Harbor uh, at one point. Well, I have to listen hard for him. I have to quit running my mouth so much. I should have heard him coming. But what was I talking about? Before the demon cat interrupt you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, the brick pass, you need the clay for as well, in, in addition to the clay, of course. So it's good to grab this whenever you see it. Um, you don't use it to make... There's another one. He's, is he stuck? Oh, there's a bunch of them. You stuck on me? Okay, it's got to be over here. Let's get eat some crap and try to find that spawner. There it is. Take that out. There is no good that comes from demon cats. Okay, there might be two of them. For there to be that many demon cats, I bet there's another one around here. Get up on the hill, we can see it. Well, maybe that one just spawned that many. Okay, well, let's take their loot. See if more come. Then we'll know for sure. All right, let's take this last bit of clay. I don't see or hear anymore. What next are you going to train? I don't know, Christy, let, uh, we'll have to see what we run into. Uh, got any requests?
Not seeing. Uh, maybe Green Hills isn't where the um, castle is. Maybe it's in Amber Hills. There's a big deer. I think that's the red deer. Is that the same deer as the ones around the base? Because I've got some of those. What about... What about YouTube? Oh, we're, this is going to post to YouTube. Um, actually, remember to hit the record button so I won't have to pull it back off of Twitch and have it the quality be all wonky like it was in the last video. So yeah, this this uh, this replay will be posted to YouTube, and um, <laughs> yeah, no, I was so aggravated. The game had just crashed, which was aggravating me to begin with, and then when I stopped the stream and looked, I was, oh hell, I saw that I hadn't even hit the Dagum record button, so I didn't have the recording. Okay, they're too fast for us. Oh, we're gonna die. Eight eight. What did I drop? Run! Oh, that makes it go faster, maybe. Ooh, we wandered right up in the middle of them. I don't know what was in my seven slot, but I think I dropped it. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have to turn around and take this guy. It's go good, it's just one left. Good night, he took a lot of arrows. Hard skin, animal fat, and gore hound head. Holy smoke. That was a little nerve wracking there. Yeah, Christy, do you remember what zone the castle's in? Wasn't it in Green Hills or am I hallucinating again? Let's head up this house on the hill, see what's there. it was too. Green Hills is a pretty big zone. We could just have not run across it yet. Trying to see. Is that it? Right there? That's the balloon. I bet we went the wrong way. I think that's it. We're going to go see. Give me the gas. We're not going to be able to loot it. We're going to have to go unload and come back uh, to have that axe. No. Can I get in there? I don't think so. I don't see anything in there anyway. So let's... Ooh, wild Siege. Awesome. Roll on over that way. Yeah, that was one something in the notes from either last night or this afternoon that wild seeds had become, they had put more of those in because they had been super duper hard to find. Yeah, I'll have to look. If we don't find it, I'm going to have to go back and look at one of my uh, video, my video from uh, last season. Because <clears throat> I actually did a video uh, where we were at. Well, this obviously is not the medieval place because there's a big old cellular antenna. Um, there's a airplane hangar. 
Oh, this place could be nasty. So let's go up and see what's in the top of the tower. Nuts and bolts, nails and bolts. Oh, titanium rock. Yeah, like I was talking about before I got uh, ransacked by all of the gorehounds. Uh, guys, if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, make sure you look down in the description of the video. There will be a link to the Legend Eternal Twitch page where you can see this live. Because uh, not everything... Yep, that is a, a bad guy nest right there. And there's another one right in front of us. Um, I'm not going to raid this place right now. Not because I don't want to. Because I really, really want to. Because it's new. But I don't have the inventory. So we're going to have to run back to the balloon. Oh, another bad guy place. Oh, this place is loaded with bad guys. Are they on me? Yes, they are on me. What kind of animals are there? Uh, nothing. And for my live viewers, check the panels below if you haven't already, and make sure you follow on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of content on YouTube that doesn't make it to Twitch, and vice versa. So, uh, best place to get it, a way to get it all is make sure you check. Oh, but they're still coming. Is to make sure you check, subscribe to both of those for all the good Legend Eternal fun. They turn around? Okay, good. Tried to Google the medieval keep. You made the first page of our results. That is awesome, dude. Wow, that is, that's, that's, uh, that's cool. The building, I like building in the savannah zone. I just like savannah look. That is cool. Um, the, uh, Uh, yeah, I actually have never known anybody. I thought I saw you mention that in Discord that you did build in the Savannah Zone. Uh, you you should stream that or YouTube that, Christy. I'm not aware of anybody else that built there personally. Everybody I know either built in, uh, you know, of course in the beginning, most people built in the compound here, <clears throat> but. Um, and then after Slice Land was brought in, everybody, like almost everybody, started building in Slice Land. You know, and like I said, Slice Land is super cool. You know, it's really flat, a uh, lot of room, a uh, lot of space to really branch out and be creative. Um, me personally, I like having the terrain to have to work around. It kind of keeps me from being as linear, I guess is the best word, in my builds. Uh, because if I don't, if I'm not careful, cement, awesome. I'll, you know, I'll just build like a square box. And so having this terrain to work around and the building, existing buildings to work around kind of helps me kind of keep it varied up. That gravel we need to put in the in the rock box. Drop our metal off. The scraps, the cans, and the wire. Cool. 
Drop our wood off. How's our stick situation? 63. Well, that's fine because we don't really need arrows right now. I forgot to drop the titanium dust in the metal box. Because it don't look like metal, it looks like dust. So I always forget it. Uh, plastic. Forgot to put the timber in the wood. That goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there. You go up here. That should have gone in the metal box. Raw fish. We needed that raw fish. That is awesome. The slime. The rubber, of course. Tools. We're going to throw the matches, the hammer, the axe. Nails and bolts. Food. Um, we're going to save this raw fish for later. We'll cook up this raw meat before we leave. You go in there, you go in there. We probably don't need all these bottles. We got the rabbits and the brand new wild boars. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cure up one of these boars. Since we got a brand new animal, why don't we just go ahead and get that joker tamed up? Soon as I finish with this inventory management, which again I apologize for, but it's got to be done. Fry up that meat. Good, good, good. Uh, drop the metal off. And let's go get our potions. Mm. <clears throat> Where are our potions? They should have been right here. Did we put them over here? Nope. Nope. There they are. They're in the... Why are they in the drink thing? Oh, uh, no matter. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, we'll go ahead and take some tranquilizer too because we're going to need taming potion and a cure. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and make some trank arrows. Uh, can we do that right here? Trank arrows... Uh, how many tranks we got? We got plenty. Let's go ahead and make 20 tranks. Nice. Okay, so let's go and tame up a wild boar. <laughs> Medical Bay. Let's see, where are they at? Wow, there's a ton of different horses. There we go. And you're going to take one cure and one taming. Awesome. We got plenty. Let's go. And you are now tamed. Okay, let's go put our potions up, and we'll put him in an enclosure.
Go, go, go. Uh, while we're thinking about it, let's get the rest of those out of there. Excellent. Let's run back here and find us a good enclosure to put this boar in. Just so we can see it. More arrows. Thank you. <clears throat> so what about this one? Does this look like a good wild boar enclosure to you guys? I mean, obviously we'll need to come in here and uh, do a little cleaning up. Nice, we got a little water trough, all this stuff, a little shade. We'll put him in here for the time being. We may move him later, uh, but let's put him down. Any lines, Legend? I don't have lines yet. We have not even been to Domba in, uh, in this playthrough yet, but that will be coming. And boom. Oh, man. Look at that fella. Oh, man. Look how detailed. That is awesome. Good deal. Good job, guys. Love it. Yeah, go get you a bite to eat there, homie. Uh, let's don't forget to shut the door. Pumbaa. That is Pumbaa. You're right. <clears throat> Welcome home, Pumbaa. So let's see what else we need to go to. Um, did we figure out, did, did uh, Cass, you said you had Googled it. Uh, did you happen to notice if it said what zone that the, the castle is in? Ooh, sapling. I still, I really, really, really think it's in Green Hills, but uh, maybe the saplings were in here. They are good. Those are kind of rare. Still things in Green Hills. If you guys happen to find out anything different, uh, shoot it in the chat and we'll... Okay, no, no, no. Go back down. We forgot to do what we meant to do, which is we're going to make a um, ritual fire. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have a rusty sword on us. We put it up. Uh, we got quite a few of those. We need animal bones. Uh, which we have tons of. What else do we need? Small stones, firewood, and matches. Okay. Matches. Firewood. And small stone right there okay let's get that made all right let's put the stuff back up but we have a ritual fire which will be super duper handy when we get ready to come home Of course, you don't want to just leave your ritual fire there, so eventually you want to uh, pick it up and go back to uh, to your balloon and come out that way. But the ritual fire is a good thing. You find out, okay, it's like, okay, my inventory's full. I need to take a break and come back. And you just make it right back to where you were, which is a pretty, pretty good deal. All right, 
Got to put the ritual sword or rusty sword up. There we go. And now we are back on the move again. Uh, looks like the bit rate may be slipping a little bit, guys, or is, is the uh, quality okay of the stream? That's definitely not Amber Hills, not Eagle's Nest. No, it's Green Hills. It's definitely Green Hills. All right, so we're zoning back in. We have a ritual fire if we need to jump out and unload. But we are on track, and we're going to find that castle. And hopefully not almost die again, because we almost bought it, and we got jumped by those gore hounds, because it was a ton of them, and we got kind of cornered. Good, okay. Um, let's see, what time is it? Local time is almost 10 o'clock. Why don't we grab our sleeping bag and go ahead and sleep. And we'll pick that back up. Eat our fill or close to it. Drink a little bit of water. Okay, now we went you can't go this way. Um, we took a right coming over this bridge last time. Why don't we go ahead and sleep again? Just get a good daylight. We can see. Uh, can we not place it? Uh, why are you red? We got to be over here. Oh, wow. Are there only certain places you can put the sleeping bag? I was not aware. Oh, now we're hungry again. Alrighty, and we're off. We'll take a left this time. See what we can run into. The house is still in the middle of the water out there. We saw that last time, last playthrough. <laughs> I had forgotten about that. Yeah, just chilling out there in the middle of the water. I don't know, you do you, man. We're gonna go this way. You know, it's starting to come back to me. I think this is the right way. Up there's the, that's not the castle, but there's that keep we were looking at earlier where all those guys were. Is that a white deer? Okay, raiders or not, we're going after that. Give me my arrows. And a red deer pied. That's cool. I had not seen one of those before. Huh. Yeah, I do. I think it's this way. It's got to be this way. We're going... Oh wow, that place is full of guys. We're gonna swing wide, see if we can miss them. Looks like the bit rate may be picking back up. Are y'all looking okay there?
Bricks. Yep, <laughs> like we needed those. <laughs> we have tons of bricks after Colesburg. Always have bricks. Oh, clay is something we don't always have enough of. Beautiful. So, yeah, I'm wondering if maybe it's across that little bay there. I wonder if we can swim it. Better not try. We'll just skirt around this bay. Maybe it kind of seems like that's where it wants to be. So let's go over there and look. I see buildings. It doesn't look very castle-esque. But maybe it's not all rendered in yet. Ooh, green shard. Yes, please. There's another level on our crossbow. These things take so long to break. There we go. Awesome. So we're backtracking it. Yeah, that is not a castle there. But it could be off over the hill there. <clears throat> Man, I'm going to feel like a dunce if I don't, <laughs> if that castle turns out to be in a different zone because I'm still thinking Green Hills. I mean, I did a video on it for crying out loud not long ago. I mean, a few months ago, but not like super long. Yeah, that's not the same garden, is it? Not the garden we raided earlier. No, different garden. Let's go to the top of this hill. No, nope, that's the end of the road there. Huh. Okay, well, we very well could have been wrong about this being Green Hills. <laughs> Clearly we were or else we have just circled all around it because we have been all over this zone. Oh, you're like a gray greyhound. <laughs> a blue greyhound. Okay. <clears throat> have not seen one of those before. Well, we've got some interesting animals. We're going to circle back our wood. Circle back around here. <clears throat> Just one last check of this area. Make sure we're not missing it. And uh, are those those bird things again? I love the bird things. I'm glad they added those. Good way to get feathers without having to buy them because we were buying a heap of feathers before uh, before they got at it. Gorehounds up on top of that hill. Yes, I know I missed those eggs.
but hmm. yep been all over this zone I see no castle that is a shame I could have sworn more deer nah we'll let them go their married way their merry way not married way well he may be married I don't know uh, they didn't stick around long enough for me to ask them. There's another of those funky trees with the weird guys around them. They're good for farming the green badges and coins. And there's the clay place with the demon cats. No, that's this whole zone, guys, and no castle. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll uh, I'll have to go after this fits after this stream and go watch my own video and figure out where the stupid castle is because I got him, I could have sworn it was here. <laughs> but uh yeah, I mean we've been over the whole thing. Not castle to be found anywhere. There's a bad guy RV. They just parked in the middle of the field. See, that's why they're so angry. I think, you know, it's that they keep getting RV stuck in the weird in the weird middle of the field. You know, I mean, drive better. There's no road there. I mean, I know you're angry about your RV being stuck. Just stay on the road. All right, yeah, we're headed back toward the balloon. Hop on up there, lady. Come on. Almost back to balloon. But yeah, this is a very pretty zone, and lots of stuff, lots of uh, lots of resources. There's some pretty good nest and and convenient places to be farmed, and um, <clears throat> a few different patches of buildings to loot. So it's worth coming. Definitely worth coming to Green Hills. Nice place. Uh, the sword in and of itself is worth coming for, and I mean it's they're real close just to the beginning of the zone you don't have to go far to get it you know just zone in go across the bridge veer a little bit to your right and there it is and also now the boars also if you keep going uh, in this little pink flower field in the valley you've got the little boar spawner and again it's right right past the mine which the mine's like over here somewhere and there's the boar spawner. So that's a good, good place to come. Get the new animal, uh, grab your sword, get a little titanium down at the bottom of the mine while you're there, and you're golden. Trip to Green Hill, success. Do not come looking for a castle, apparently. So it is what it is. <clears throat> but we're going to find that castle. <laughs> I'll watch my own video and figure out where it was. Um, see, they got their RV stock. Oh, well, it was a lot longer to the balloon than I thought it was. We have circled this whole freaking zone. Twice. <laughs> See, there's the mine. And there's the bridge back home. Is that a shard or is that just a bush? I think it's just a bush, but we're going to go over here and check it out. Let's zip right over here and see. 
More trash. Yeah, this trash respawns. And, nope, just a bush. Yep, you were too. Y'all look like a shard from way far, far off. And back to the compound. All right, so guys, um, we've been at this a couple hours now. We did a really, really good thing. Cleared out that pyramid. It was a lot of fun. We got some good stuff, killed a lot of zombies, did the things, and had a good time. We also found the brand new animal, the wild boar. And so I thank you guys for coming to hang out with me today. All my live audience, make sure you check out YouTube. And all of y'all watching this replay on YouTube, make sure you check out Twitch. And uh, we'll have a good time together. We're going to do a whole lot more games. We'll do a lot more of this, do a lot more of art, do a lot more of everything. Having a great time. But guys, that's going to about do it for today. Uh, always remember, life's a game. Win it. This is the end for Legend. And we'll catch you next chapter. Bye now.